Have you ever wanted a product, but it is only available in other parts of the world? Japanese bonus tracks. Like in music, those are a thing. Like the more full album gets released in Japan. What did Japan do that America didn't? Yeah, they probably know that a Japanese bonus track is a buying signal to an American. Um, metal detectors have similarities to cars, too. What? Bear with me with this. Every great metal detector has been named after a car. Mine Lab Equinox, Chevrolet Equinox. Nocta Macro Simplex, Sheffield Simplex. Mine Lab Xterra and Xterra Pro. Nissan Xterra. And yes, there was a Nissan Xterra Pro. There's the Acura Legend and, of course, the Nocta Macro Legend. No way there's a Deus car. Well, of course there is. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. An electric car is so pricey that only 99 are being built and no two will be alike. Deus. Deus in Latin means the Lord. Of course it's going to be a car. Yes, there's an AT Pro, and yes, there is a Vanquish. Yeah, as for Manticores, like, look at this. How, how similar is this to what you'd see in a metal detecting advertisement? Manticore. It was a Mustang Manticore. There's also a truck that's a Manticore. But like the bonus tracks in music brought up before, there are cars, and there are metal detectors available in certain parts of the world, that are unavailable in others. It can be argued that the Lamborghini of the metal detecting industry is not available in the United States right now. Gdańsk to nie tylko wspaniałe zabytki i bardzo ciekawa historia, ale także dynamicznie rozwijający się ośrodek przemysłowy. I dlaczego przyjechaliśmy do Gdańska? Zobaczycie za chwilę. I już jesteśmy na miejscu. SMTronik Gdańsk, firma, która się specjalizuje w montażu elektroniki. Nieupoważniony wstęp zbroniony, ale my dzisiaj jesteśmy upoważnieni. Możemy wejść. Cały proces zaczyna się od podajnika, który podaje puste płytki do specjalnej maszyny, która przy pomocy laserowo wycinanego szablonu nakłada pastę lutowniczą. Płytka z nałożoną pastą lutowniczą, jeszcze pusta, bez elementów, czeka na podajniku. Pierwsza maszyna układająca już elementy na płytkę układa elementy najmniejsze. Jak widać jest to proces automatyczny. O wysokiej precyzji oprogramowanie do takiej maszyny generuje się na podstawie tak zwanych plików pick and place, które to pliki generowane są na podstawie projektu elektroniki. Następna maszyna układa większe elementy, a ostatnia maszyna układa moduły radiowe i moduły Wi-Fi oraz złącza do klawiatury a następnie idzie do pieca. Piec sześciostrefowy, czyli sześć różnych y, stref z różnymi temperaturami. Długa maszyna. So why is Rudis, Rudis, am I pronouncing this correctly, the Lamborghini of the metal detecting industry? Well, it is started by a family, and it's a small family-owned business that, through a great product, has gone global. Lamborghini, of course, has been bought out since, and it was an Italian company. But people wanted Lamborghini's handmade cars across the world. Now, you'll get a kick out of this. Ironically, 
the metal detector name that the new Rudis metal detector that's coming out is called a Versa. I used to drive a Versa. Hey, Facebook, it's Merrill. Just accept the fact that you do not have my parallel parking skills. Check this out. Oh, geez, nice job with the camera. But the parallel parking skills are legit. Have a good day. So what is there to expect with the Versa? And how, how is it going to differentiate from a Deus II or a Manticore? Why should we care about this? The bar is set ridiculously high right now, and we've got some great metal detectors already on the market. There was one thing that stuck in my head. We'll go over the rest of this in a moment. But there's one thing that really stuck in my head. Um, unique operation mode, this is the dual mode, offers simultaneous motion and non-motion modes for increased depth, effectiveness, and target clarity. Think about it. You're swinging over something. You're only registering a response. Of course, if the magnetic field hits a metal object and, you know, we get target ID and all of that uh, receptor coil, um, transmitter coil, all that fun stuff. Now, when we pinpoint, as I understand it, it is different you could be totally still and you are getting a signal. So the essential question with that is, when you pinpoint, are you able to go deeper than when you are regularly moving a metal detector? Many that I know would say yes to that. And it mentions right there in the literature that it gives enhanced depth for that. Rest of it is very much similar to what we already have on the market right now. Waterproof to 2.5 meters, uh, 1.3 kilograms, that's on the light side. That is a, a good ergonomically uh, compact, flat, uh, telescopic, and folding. I really haven't seen too many folding, so that's interesting. Um, Wi-Fi updates and software changing. Rechargeable battery gives you 15 hours. You have uh, various audio programs, uh, hunting programs, there seems to be seven. And uh, frequencies from 4 to 40 kilohertz. Reaction adjustment, I'm not sure what they mean by that. Oh man, look at this. So uh, Treasure Hunting World uh, says that another useful feature is the screen ID graph, which gives a visual indication of whether a target is junk or valuable. Then goes on to troll MineLab. Let's hope it is more accurate than MineLab's 2D screen on the Manticore. Ouch. So this is very much on my radar, and there's uh, many detecting videos that I've seen from uh, European YouTube channels that I'm going to check out. But let's actually look at the product. This is the promo from Ruddus.
Now, uh, I'm thankful because you guys give me some revenue to play with each month, and uh, I very often reinvest it in my channel. Yes, I would like to get one of these. The problem is right now there are no, uh, there's nobody that sells them in the United States. So I I'm reaching out to uh, Ruddus, Rudis, Ruddus, whatever, sorry. <laughs> and uh, I want to see if I could get one of their products. I've read that the price range is uh, expected to be around 800 euros, and that equates to about $865. Uh, now, I keep track of all of my thoughts on my website, iratemetaldetectors.com, and I've rated all of the detectors that I own, with the exception of one, which I'll show you in one second. Now, if you include value, I would put the Nocta Macro Legend at number one. And if you notice, we have a overall rating and we have a capability rating. But, you know, if, there, if price is not an issue, the detector that has the highest capability rating is the XP Deus 2. And you could basically go through the different categories. You could see where I take points off and put points on. But uh, XP Deus, I think, is number one right now, uh, followed slightly behind by the Manticore. Now, the one that is really making waves to me right now is the Xterra Pro. I can't believe how good it is. Now, if you don't like Target ID, you're not going to like that this machine. It's not really accurate. Maybe they'll put an update in and change that. But it's really good, really, really good for $269. I think it's so good, I want to compare it signal to signal with the Manticore. In other words, I take this to the park with my friends who have the Manticore. I bet it would hit the majority of the signals. I'm talking like 99% of the signals. It's that good for <laughs> like $1,400 cheaper. But anywho... If this is your first time here, please uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We have fun here. This is Fun Club, and uh, we reinvest. Uh, so you guys watch my videos. I try to give you guidance, take you out on hunts, do all sorts of silly stuff. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, thank you for watching.